February 2017, and he was truly regarded as Shagwa was by his bedside. Prior to his death, three or four weeks before, in privacy, he wrote his will and appointed Rigad Gashagwa as an executor of that will, jointly with Mwai Madenge, his close time buddy, who is a quantity affair, and celebrated lawyer, Joroge Regeru. The three of us were tasked to manage his estate. In the will, you'll be given a copy. He did put his properties and assets and cash and anything that he owned in this world. And among the things that he did put was the Olive Garden Hotel, the Fingo Beach Resort, the Queen's Gate apart Apartment, and Langata High Rise Flats. It is these four properties that the Honorable Mutuse alleges in the National Assembly that Regadi Gashagwa has acquired them after becoming Deputy President in 2022 when Drito Gashagwa died in 2017. It is the most embarrassing allegation a member of parliament can table before the National Assembly. Those properties were constructed and were in operation when the Lady Gachagua was alive. I take this opportunity to ask for forgiveness to my late brother, James Derito Gachagua, that today as your younger brother defends himself, he'll defile your privacy by distributing your will that you wrote in privacy. That your properties that you worked so hard for many years to benefit your wives and children are now a subject of discussion and are alleged to be proceeds of corruption. How unfair how cruel can you be to a dead man? A man who worked so hard, a man who gave his life for his family, to buy plots, to construct property, and leave them in his death for his children and his brothers and sisters. And then you go to the floor of the house and allege that those properties our production of corruption. My dear brother, rest in peace and forgive me for having joined politics. Because were it not for politics, you would not suffer this shame. Your children are crestfallen as you see their properties being splash in newspapers as proceeds of crime. The Olive Garden Hotel that is alleged to have been bought by Rigadi Gachagua belongs to the estate of the late James Derito Gachagua. And in his will, he directed that we sell all his properties and divide the proceeds among his brothers, sisters, wives, and children. We, as the executors of his estate, and I want to pay tribute to lawyer Joroge Regeru and Mwai Madenge for their commitment and sacrifice to the Gachagua family. Many executors who have been given properties to run by deceased people end up misusing them and depriving the beneficiaries. These two great men and myself because my brother knew I'm an honest man and a fair person, and he knew his family would never suffer in my hands. We were able to sell Olive Garden Hotel at 412 million and distributed the proceeds 
to the beneficiaries as directed in his will. We registered his will in the High Court of Kenya and were given the probate. And my late brother, in his wisdom, left regarding Gashagua 5% of his wealth. I was therefore able to get 20 million shillings from this sale. That is money that is in my account that again I'm told they are proceeds of crime. He left my mother 5% of his wealth, another 20 million shillings. And since my mother is dead, my late brother, because he trusted me, had put in his will that I hold my mother's shares in trust. So that is another 20 million shillings in my account. Again, my late brother left me another 4% to hold in trust of the children of another brother of ours who is deceased, the late Dr. Friend Washira Gashagwa, whose children are in South Africa. And another 16 million shillings was put in my account. My late brother gave 2% to my wife, Pastor Dalkas, because of her kindness of looking after him when he was ill. All this money that has come to me from a dead brother, I'm being told are proceeds of crime. Um, Queen's, Gate, Queen's Gate Service Apartments, another property belonging to the late Kashagwa, is another property that I'm told I've bought as when I'm deputy president, that is why I have 5.2 billion worth of money. And this property, again, we sold the Cooperative Bank of Kenya, the staff retirement benefits for nearly 600 million. And this money we utilized to pay his debts. And today, as the Etika Shagwares in heaven, he has no debt. Again, I want to thank